What is up in YouTube? So, this is just a quick video. I recently bought myself a not second hand, fourth hand, but never mind. A, I bought myself a new car, a, a Ford, a Ford Mondeo, a 2011 year model, and bought myself new speakers the Infinity Kappa looks sexy as hell but my problem is this is the factory uh, speaker that comes with the car and this is the Kappa sitting on top of him and as you can see well, it doesn't fit. The the infinities are smaller, even though every forum in the internet said that it's six point five. It isn't. Well, I have uh, speaker risers, and the uh, Kappa themselves came with uh, adapters, but even with the adapters, the Kappa are still too small. So, my solution is to kill him! And basically, what I've done... Uh, stop him sticking to the magnet. Just took the speaker a freaking part. Uh, you know what, I'll just show you. Uh, no. Let's first show you how it looks and then I'll show you how I took it apart if you want to. And the nice thing about using the speaker as a speaker riser is that I still have the, the factory connector. So, good for me. Oh, and also I had to take apart, take a little bit from the sides for the infinity ears that were porking, poking out. So, Anyways, let's take the second speaker, since I need to take this shit apart as well. And just take this stupid piece of foam from the front. Actually, you don't really need to, because when you're taking the membrane off, you, everything comes off together. So, let's just take the shit apart. Actually, great speaker, the sound good, so if you're buying a Mondeo and thinking of up upgrading your system, maybe just upgrading your head unit might be enough for you. But for me, I want to go all out. So, anyways, chop that bitch off. Oh, I'm using a metal... Uh, by scissors choppy choppy the plastic that the speaker is made of is actually glass reinforced plastic which is really good it actually says in here pp pop up whatever it is the type of plastic really strong it can take the abuse of the coppers, no problem. But even so, is not a match for snip snip. And now, just a matter of pressing that pitch from the back. I'm doing it slowly because I don't want to rip the speaker because I want to take it apart in one go. Just go around that bitch and take it apart. Sorry, speaker, you were good, but you're not that good.
and whoopsie daisy chop that bitch off too thin for that snip snip two and one go bye bye speaker and now as far as that goes I just grab my pliers regular pliers and just grab that ridge here because it interrupts with the speaker just grab it with the pliers and shear that pitch right off you can take all of it off if you need to depending on the type of speaker you're using but for my kappas it's enough that I will make I'll just extend one hole you already got this hole from the factory it comes like that I just extended this one and I'm making another two at the bottom and rip that pitch apart if you need to you might need to use a file and just grind it and be careful when you do because you don't want to go through the plastic and have a hole here because it might affect the sound might not but I'd rather not find out and have everything perfect from the get go it's much easier this way now Uh, just fits perfectly and I got all the factory pins to sit in the place I don't need to make new screws I got the connector all I need to do is solder new wires and connect it and that's it this is my solution for installing speakers in a Ford Mondeo hope it helped you bye bye